Matt Lenehan for Boxing Social in association with Empire Fight Store. I'd like to be joined by Chloe Watson. Chloe, good morning. How are we? Good morning. Very good. Got me morning brew. Absolutely. And I appreciate you joining us this early. I know we normally do an afternoon, but yeah, I appreciate it all the same. You've got training this afternoon. You've got a fight coming up very soon. I believe it's your first eight rounder. How are you feeling about that? Excited that you're going to have a few more rounds? Very excited. I mean, obviously, after my last fight, um, I was due to box sick and it got changed very, very last minute. Like, as we were in the ring before. Um, so I felt like I didn't really, like I didn't get a chance to really show what we've been working on. I just kind of had to do what I had to do what I needed to do. Do you know what I mean? At the time, um. So now I'm excited to kind of like start stepping her up throughout the rounds and you know slowing things down and really thinking about what I'm doing. And I feel like it's all coming off and training quite well. So yeah, I'm looking forward to. It. Has that been frustrating for you? The fact that obviously because you are you have just turned over the fact that you are doing so little rounds. Do you feel like? your skills will be better sort of displayed over a long period of time where you can maybe map out a bit of a game plan, you know, take the first round to sort of have more of a look because when you're doing these four rounders, you know you've got to have your foot on the gas, make sure you win every single round convincingly. Well, I mean, up until this point, like not really because I, I just know that it's a process, you know, and you've got to kind of go through that. Um. And then now I'm starting to obviously get a little taste there. I'm working on all these things in the gym. Like I said, now I'm starting to see re- like the benefits of starting to like step up the rounds. And then as I'm stepping her up in sparring and stuff like that, I'm starting to feel it. Um, starting to feel things come off a lot, like a lot quicker because I'm actually starting to slow things down um, from the first round and start to think about what I'm doing. So I feel like I'm performing better when it comes to in the gym. So that's why I am excited to take it to the ring. Has it been a, a strange adjustment in terms of the build up for the for this fight? In terms of like, because you are doing the more rounds, or is it is it just business as usual for you? Do you do the, the rounds in the gym anyway? Or is it just more about how you go about them? Yeah, it's just business as usual. And um, like you said, yeah, it is just how we go about them, and it's just picking up the knowledge and just the little things, you know. And this is where like it's good that I've got um, Ricky and Blaine in the gym because obviously they've they've had me now from from when I first turned over. Um. So you know, kind of developed um so well with them that now they see that I'm ready to take it up to the eight rounds and then start pushing on to the ten rounds. Um, and they're kind of seeing like what works well for me and like my fitness and things like that. And yeah, we're getting there slowly but surely, but we're definitely getting there. Yeah, you've just got Blaine and Ricky with you. Who've got a vast amount of experience to help you sort of guide you up to to this point. Do you feel like have you do you feel like as the fights go on that you're seeing a, an improvement in yourself? Do you feel like as as each fight goes on that you're noticing like slight subtle changes and things that are benefiting you? Yeah, definitely. I feel like <clears throat> I wouldn't be like as happy or or as excited if I didn't feel myself like progressing with like each fight. I feel like just cause like I don't know like the natural like competitiveness in me and things like that. <laughs> um. I just feel like, you know, you wouldn't see me like standing, sitting here with a smile on my face and excited for me next fight. I felt like I was very, I don't know, just stagnant, um, which I do feel like I am progressing, like not even just with every fight, but with every session. I feel like we're working, we're working on things. Um, and it's not changing every day, the things that we're working on. But, you know, like I feel like when we're working on something, we're working on it until it comes off then it comes off and then there's something else to work on. Do you know what I mean? And I'm starting to really feel that and, also, I'm starting to see it come off in my fights as well. So that's good. What is that sort of, you know, the improvements that you've made? Have you noticed one specifically that you've, that you can, you could tell, like you can say after ever, after all the fights you've had, look, I've improved in this area so much, whether it be, I don't know, your timing, your footwork, mm-hmm. distance control. Is there a specific, is there a specific um, sort of aspect to your game that you're, you know, quite proud of at the minute? Yeah, definitely. So I've been working on like the inside work quite a bit lately. So um, you know, you had that. You, that. Like, you like to fight anyway, don't you? Yeah, I do like to fight. Um, but we've been working on maybe being a little bit more selective of our punches once we're there. Um, rather than just getting there and getting too excited. Um, so yeah. So hopefully you see some things like that come off on the next fight. Yeah, hope hope so. And anyway, um. At the minute, so you know when you're, do you do you enjoy watching the boxing away from 
you actually getting involved? Do you come home and watch the fights or do you sort of take yourself away from it because it's something that, you know, you're doing every day, you're training, then you have your fight. Do you actually watch other boxers box or is it not an interest? So as an amateur, actually, I never used to watch boxing. Why? Um, because I was just doing it all the time. I was always up in Sheffield. We were always just training. And um, we'd watch like the amateur boxing scene and stuff. Like, but normally you'd be there anyway, and you'd be watching all day. So when you go away and box, um, like you could be boxing at like three o'clock, but you're stuck in the venue like all day because you've got to kind of just like ride it out and like wait. And it's kind of all that you're doing. So when it came to actually coming home. I'd probably just be like, I don't know, boxing can't wear on my mind, I'd be switching off. Um, whereas once I've turned over now, I've definitely gone into it a lot more and I'm actually really enjoying it. Um, I love the fact, obviously, that you know women have got more opportunities now, so they're on a bigger platform and I'm able to really watch them and think, oh, like this could be me. Um, that inspires me so much. And then with that, obviously, I'm watching just I'm watching the whole boxing shows and stuff like that. So I'm definitely following it a lot more now. Um, it's just a lot more like excited and a lot more a lot more catching on the eye because, you know, that is where I want to go. So I'd be silly if I weren't watching it and getting involved in it. Who do you enjoy watching? Who's, like, the person, male or female? I know you'll have a close eye on the women's game, obviously, because it's it's on the up now. And I think we're slowly seeing that gap. You know, there's still a way to go, I believe. But I think with the next sort of wave of Olympians, touch wood that boxing still has Olympians and it still goes through all this process and we see a good wave of amateurs coming through. I think we've seen it sort of the last time round, the standards sort of getting a lot better. Um, mm. who, do you, who do you enjoy watching? Male or female? Uh, well, female, you know, like, like I said, they're, it's inspiring, like watching the likes of Katie Taylor and everything that she's done from her pro debut, you know, when I watch that. I think like it just sparked something in me to the to the point where I was a bit like, like this is how far we can take it, and um so obviously ever since then you know watching it is, is just it's just been like it's an experience watching it because it's just like, this this is what she's doing and this is where we can be at and and it's grew so much from it from her professional debut and there's so many more people involved, um and that's what's exciting like about their fights especially being in the position that I'm in. And then I do enjoy watching, um, you know, everyone grow from like the GB setup as well. So everyone that I've been boxing with and the uh, back at GB, um, and now seeing them doing their thing. You know, you see big phrase like Solomon and Davison, um, Ellie Scottney has just won, uh, a world title. So, so you know, I enjoy watching that as well because you know we've all trained together and we were a team. Absolutely. When you look at sort of the next. I don't know, six to twelve months. Do we think we'll be seeing you in, you know, some form of title fight? Is that correct? Yeah. Is that yeah, that? hopefully. Yeah, that's that's something that's in the back of my mind. Obviously we'll stepping up to the eight rounds and then start pushing for the final and then see what see what opportunities are up there. Have you had that chat with Ricky and Blaine and sort of have that progress chat where you say, Look, they are, do you leave it all to them or do you go, Look, I wanna be I wanna be kicking on now kind of thing? So obviously you've had that a really good amateur background coming into the pro game so I know you've got to be mindful of you know one step at a time but you sort of you're there in terms of you've had a really good sort of season in prior to the pro game do you have that chat with them and say look 12 months you know we need to be here kind of thing yeah we definitely have the chat Um, I don't think it's a case of we need to be here yeah because you know I have got age on my side like I am only 23 um, and you know I think like we're in no rush, but at the same time, like we know what we know, like what we're working towards. Do you know what I'm saying? So it's not a case of, oh, we're not here, let's panic. It's like, let's keep going as like as we're going. These are the goals, these are the things we're working towards. Um, and let's go. Absolutely. Let's work hard and get there. You done anything crazy outside the ring recently? I know we ask all the time, but you're always doing something like it was a tough muddle last yeah. night. Book, I believe I watched. I watched the last interview we did back just to see if there was sort of any sort of follow on from it. Um, I know yeah. you're doing you that, and I know you're always bouncing about doing some. Um, mm -hmm. been doing anything? Well, actually, um, me and Anne went out on the paddleboard. Say again. Me and Anne went out on the paddleboard. Oh my god! Oh, well, that was quite funny. Um, but yeah, no, I've just been getting out in the sun really and enjoying it. While well, the weather's been nice, but there's a video of me and Anne on the paddleboard. I'll have to send you because I think you'll laugh about it. She's um she's one of a kind, isn't she? I think. 
In she is definitely. Can I say some of the stories you've told us about chuffing, skydiving, tough mudder. Um, yeah, tough mudder. Um, you know? Dancing in the rain. You know, any time it's raining, she just feels like she needs to go out and dance in the rain. <laughs> she's just not right, but yeah, she's um, she's definitely one of the kinds. So. Well, look, you're back. You're back out in a couple of weeks. Um, Newcastle, I believe. Excited to be excited to be back there. You've have you fought you fought there before, have you? I yeah, think. I fought in Newcastle before. Excited to go there. Obviously, it's a it's a lively lively city. Um, a fighting city, just like obviously Liverpool is. Um, excited to go back there. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think Jordy is quite similar to Scousers. Um, yes, we normally always get on. The last time was good. It was fun. Um, yeah, like I said, yeah, excited to get there and do the business. Absolutely. Right. Have you got anything else you want to say just before we sign this interview off? Anything new? Um, Any no, message, really. message to your fans, people who maybe haven't seen your box before? Yeah, just uh, for people who have been watching me from the start, thanks to the sports. And if you haven't watched me, then tune in on July the 15th. Absolutely. Um, tune in July 15th. You saw the next part of your journey here, moving into eight rounds, and I'm sure we'll see you progress and then start challenging for titles shortly. So look, Chloe, Chloe Watson, appreciate you talking to Boxing Social. We'll catch up again soon. And yeah, fingers crossed we catch up after your fight. Yeah, definitely. Thanks, Matt.